In this video, we're going to be looking at the Terraria mod which has a huge potential to be the next game changer for Terraria. From adding 3D bosses, insanely awesome and unique weapons, a cool new twist on the beach biome, visually stunning events with their own unique mini bosses, and tons more. Introducing the Aikus mod. Yep, it's a hard name to pronounce. This mod is famous for its signature 3D boss Omega Starite, so we'll start from this boss. As you can see, this boss is 3D. During its phase 1, its attacks are pretty simple. I'd say you can even throw melee this boss, because the boss becomes vulnerable during the time window which the boss spreads its balls. Don't get me wrong though, do not underestimate the balls. I mean this boss. It might look easy, but since it is a pre hard mode boss, you don't have access to good wings yet, so dodging the balls can be troublesome. Not to mention, the boss moves pretty fast for a huge fat ball. It does get stronger during phase 2, but it's nothing too significant of a change until you take it down to 30% HP, because taking it down to low HP will trigger its phase 3, and it will unleash a gigantic insta-kill death ray. I was curious what the death ray would do to me, and it's safe to say that curiosity killed the cat. Now that I knew what the death ray will do to me, I was able to dodge it by going around the ball. It was an insanely close call though. The death ray is unexpectedly fast. And yep, its phase 3 is way much deadlier, with the boss unleashing more attacks and being more aggressive. You guys still have to remember, this is a pre hard mode boss you fight before Wall of Flash. So while the attacks might seem simple, this boss is nothing to scoff at. But once you get to know and adapt to the attack patterns, you'll take down this boss easily. Let's take a moment to appreciate how insanely awesome its defeat animation is. Now, let's take a look at the weapons. Some of the weapons are actually surprisingly unique, like this stuff that allows you to mind control enemies. Yep, mind controlling them. I've never seen any other mods touch mind controlling weapons before, so that's very fascinating. With this mind controlling stuff, you can even take control of stronger foes such as paladins, and forcibly use them against their own will for your own benefit. That's a bit dark now that I think about it. They also have this spooky stuff that summons red ghosts. This ghost can also mind control your enemies. I feel like it's a reference to a specific horror genre, but I kind of forgot about it. Let's brighten things up a bit. This mod also has a lot of weapons that are references to other games such as Mario and Plants vs Zombies. It also has cool stuff like this weapon called Search Rod that is able to create thundercloud net to fry your foes. You can spread the net around your screen to trap enemies and bosses inside of it, effectively electrocuting them to crisp. I'm also pretty sure one of the developers for this mod likes Toho, because one of the weapons really screams Toho a ton, and I find it interesting that they were able to implement a gun that shoots wind that can blow away projectiles, which can be very useful against laser based bosses such as the destroyer, or this stuff that can turn your enemies into random stuff. Though it doesn't work on bosses, that'd be way too OP. I just turned a zombie into a fruit salad. And it looks like this mod did not skip the nowadays trend and obsession with cool looking swords. As the swords in this mod have cool swinging animations and feel really awesome to use as well. And yes, there is in fact a perfectly balanced weapon in this mod, but we're not gonna be touching it today. This mod has also added its own twist to vanilla ocean biome by introducing its own new and unique biome located below vanilla beaches. It's a pretty neat looking biome and great to explore with many loots and swords and really serves a great purpose to spice up the bland beach biome and untouched underground beach in vanilla Terraria. Now, let's talk about the Glimmer event, which you can start with a galactic star fruit. The event has exclusive star galaxy themed enemies, but the main focus during this event is the ultra starite mini boss. It acts similarly to omega starite, just a weaker dollar tree fashion of it. However, I have to admit, it looks really cool and the event looks beautiful. Speaking of enemies, there is a mini boss or enemy called Red Sprite in this mod, which I did not know how I was able to summon, but its attacks looks pretty cool, especially for a tiny cloud enemy. I love it when it zaps down thunderstorms at us. I did not expect a small enemy to have very cool attacks, that is very surprising. Looks like size doesn't matter, it's the personality that matters. I'd also like to talk about how there is another boss in this mod called Crabson. Its attacks are pretty simple and all, but I just want to talk about how this boss kinda radiates some sort of uncanny valley energy with that sprite. I understand they're trying to resemble a crab here, but I don't know how to describe it, because it feels more like a cursed and holy 3D flash abomination. It's not like it's a bad thing. To be fair, some of the 
attacks are actually pretty cool. It's really not a bad boss at all. But yeah, the boss is a decent use of a 3D model and not a bad play hard mode boss to fight. The next boss I'd like to show you guys is the Dust Devil. Well, the sprite of this boss could use some work. But this boss attacks are actually very interesting and unique. As its name describes, this boss utilizes the dust particles around itself by sucking in blocks, enemies, and biome team projectiles and using them against the player. Definitely not a bad boss at all for a hard mode boss. It could use some more touch and polishing, but a very interesting and unique design for sure. And last but not least, this mod has full cross compatibility support with Horium mod, so it's not a bad decision to play it alongside Horium. That's about it, thank you and see ya!